If you create a Google Classroom assignment, share it to Google Classroom from here, it's not going to work. Okay, you actually, in order for it to work, you cannot be here. You need to be either here or here. You can only create a Google Classroom assignment for student work to save, you know what I mean? Only from uh, one of the components. So we'll do it for the lesson component. Again, make sure you are not here on the book overview page. You got to be on the lesson chapter page or the practice uh, page, if you will. All right, so make sure lesson is highlighted. There we get there. The lesson is showing, and now we go to share Google Classroom, and that little uh, thing pops up. Lesson telling the plane. I'll choose my class, I am test class, where I am logged in as a student over here, actually, so we can see the workflow as a student, and I'll assign it. So right now, the assignment is being created within Google Classroom. It takes about four to four to five seconds, but it'll work. And now it's been created. So I can open it literally right there. And um, I'll refresh the I'll, I'll refresh the page from the student side, and you'll see the assignment is right there. Okay. So let's look at it from both perspectives now. The teacher on the left, the student on the right. Okay. So check this out. Teacher posted an assignment. I actually go to the go to the assignment here. Now um, for the first time going in there, you have to log in again. So I'm going to log in as a student. Okay. That's the reason why sometimes the turn in button, I see it's assigned in there. Some, if you don't see a turn in button here, the trick here is just to refresh the page once. And that should work. That should make it work. See, turn in button now shows up. So uh, refreshing the page once or twice is the trick here. So now any work that student Jack Frost does here, for example, as in this create your own tessellation uh, activity, which I'll do here, right? So any work that the student does, you can see as a teacher, even though the student has not turned it in yet. Watch this. Student Jack Frost did this already. So I'll go to student work on the teacher side of things. I see Jack Frost. It, it doesn't say turned in, but if I click on his name, and let me just refresh it one more time. to get. If you don't see stuff showing up, refresh it. That's a trick. And right here you see uh, I'll go to the lesson Jack Frost is working on and check it out. Right here as I scroll down, it's loading. See? I can see, I can see exactly what the student has done from the moment when I actually entered in the view his or her work. Okay, and if Jack Frost moves it yet again, let's say Jack Frost does something else. Watch this. One, two, three, make a triangle, right? And then if I refresh the page here as a teacher, it might take one or two refreshes to see the changes there. Ah, this time it took one, right? I can actually see the work even though student has not turned it in yet. Okay, that's the beauty of the integration from GeoGebra to Google Classroom. It's uh, it's painless and um, and at the same time, students do not need GeoGebra accounts in order for their work to save within Google Classroom because it's Google Classroom environment that's actually doing the saving of the work. Okay, so right now as a teacher, I can go here. Let's actually have Jack Frost turn this in. So Jack student turns it in. There we go. As a teacher, I can go to classwork now and let's click on the lesson here. Ah, one turned in, zero assigned. So sure enough, Jack Frost turned it in, and I can look at it just the way that student left it. So I hope uh, that clears up uh, some confusion that some of you have had, and I've seen posts about. So I hope my my hope is that posting this video here uh, helps answer those uh, questions. If you have any questions, feel free to put comments in the, this post here. I will be happy to answer it when I get a chance. Um, but um, yeah, I hope. Um, yeah, wishing you and your students uh, much success in this crazy time of remote learning.